We're talking TVs again. We're talking TVs. We're actually specifically talking a Toshiba TV. This is a, uh, I believe it's a 47 inch. Uh, and it's just, it was 55, but I am wrong. <laughs> it's an actual 47 inch But TV. it feels like a 55 inch. It feels gargantuan, man. It really, really does. But let, let's, let's, uh, let's talk about it, man. Ooh. All right, so we have a Toshiba 47-inch television. Lay it down on us. 47-inch television. But before we lay it down, oh, my gang. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, so Zeb and I are, are dads on tech, so it wouldn't be uh, a dads on tech show unless we had some beer. So today so, I'm having um, – and, and they're, they're not a sponsor. I, I wish they were. <laughs> they're not – hello, oh, my gang. Call they're us. not a sponsor. I wish they were, but um, I'm having the, uh, the, the rare boss here. And, yes, that is a large, large bottle. Um, 22 ounce, I think it is, whatever the case is. I've already poured it. Um, Zev, what are you having today? So I'm having the uh, Three Philosophers, which is a uh. quadruple. So yeah, if, if you want to get any uh, any, a, any clear review out of me, I don't know. At, at, at about here, that's when it ends. That's Good when for the, you. Yeah. Good for you. All right. <laughs> so kick me right into, into the stats. So the model is a 47 TL51 5U. It's a 47-inch screen. Um, it's a smart TV, so that means it's connected to the internet. Mm -hmm. um, it's 3D technology, which is pretty nice, and it has just a, a, a boatload of inputs, right? We're talking yep. about four HDMI, two USB, one PC, uh, one component, and two composite, and I already mentioned the PC uh, connection in the back. Right. So that's pretty impressive. That's that's a nice piece of hardware there, right? Absolutely. So so as far as as the pros are concerned i like the fact that it's a 47 inch lcd uh tv it does very well in, in bright lit rooms that's the main reason why i, I liked it so much because you know I, I, in my house we have a lot of sunlight coming into to the basement the, the first floor even even our bedroom so having an, uh, an lcd like this is, is phenomenal um 1080p which is pretty awesome Passive 3D technology, so that's that's important, right? Because, right. Um, and for folks who don't understand the difference between passive and active, um, passive just means that you know just they just the regular 3D glass that you get at the movie theater. You just put them on, and, that, and that's pretty much it. The um, the active was it is that active shutter? Active shutter, yep. So it works active. on a specific time frame as with the television set to to open and shut the shutter, so to speak, mm -hmm. to turn on each side at the right rate. So, right. but they and happen for, to be very expensive. They are expensive because they're battery powered. Right. That's one reason why they're expensive. And second, there's some technology that goes into those, into those glasses. So that's the reason why it's so expensive. I'm not sure if everybody out there, or for you, I think you have the same problem that I do. That after wearing the glasses, for me personally, not more than like 15 seconds, my eyes start wigging out. And I, I just say wigging. I'm not sure if that's a real word. Um, and I start feeling the headache. Hmm. See, I, I, the headache. I have uh, I have that effect on active shutter. Active shutter right. t with me, after a few a few minutes, it just doesn't work for me. I don't know why. It's just annoying. But Tough. passive, even though that they say that the the resolution goes down um, because they have to take the the line doubling and change it, um, I honestly think that it's fine. I think passive, passive. is passive. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Passive yeah. Is yeah. Okay. I completely agree. I think I'm fine with that. Um. So that's good. Uh, deep black. So when yes. you're watching anything that had a black screen on it, um, like so like uh, a Batman movie, for example, like the latest one, the deep blacks were wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, again, I, I love the fact that it's built in Wi-Fi. It's a built-in smart TV. Um, I love the fact that they have Yahoo widgets in there too. You yeah. know, you can get your movies, news updates, so on and so forth. And this is a one feature I didn't play with, but it's Skype enabled. So yeah, I, and, and it doesn't come with a camera, right? But uh... No, it does not. Right. <clears throat> no, that's so that was interesting. Kind of, that's a little weird, but I, I was actually pretty happy about that. So I guess if I did buy a camera and I, and I plugged it in, I'm not sure where you would plug it in. Right. But, <laughs> oh, that, I think it does have US. It does have USB. So I assume. I'm sorry. You're right. Yeah, yeah. But there I don't know. I don't know if it's specific models or it's any video uh, camera. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I'm not sure which one it is either, but it's still kind of cool. So even if you had to buy a specific camera, let's say from Logitech, mm -hmm. like you know the one, two, three, four Logitech camera right. uh, designed for Toshiba, I think st I still think that's pretty awesome. I, you know, Skype in the living room, I think it, it 
as long as that's not the only feature that you have, because I don't think people are right. going to go out and buy, no. as we as we've seen with the Cisco uh, equipment. I don't think you're going to go buy a lot, of, you know, spend a lot of money on a piece of equipment that sits in your right. living room just to do Skype with grandma. But I think I in addition to uh, that, what you already have, it is a great feature. No, I, I completely agree. Mm -hmm. I completely agree. Um, and as far as cons are concerned, <sighs> so the sound was was really not good. And it's surprising, right? Because it's got two 10 watt speakers. I just, we weren't happy with it, right. you know. So my, my wife Jesse and I were got the TV. We're increasing the volume, increasing the volume, increase the. And, and I'm I'm doing this by the way right. <laughs> when I'm looking down, <laughs> increasing the volume, and it got louder, louder, louder. But the loudest point was still hard to hear. Right. And that was very frustrating for us because, you know, we were watching some great movies, uh, Batman, for example, and it just it was just painful to, to to watch because we couldn't really hear everything correctly. You know, we have a three-year-old again, and he's rather loud. Mm -hmm. So that, that was kind of tough. Um, the menu structure, it's a little kludgy to walk around. Yeah, I agree with that. It's like, eh, okay, whatever. Um, it's a little hard, um, but, but I navigated and I got through it. Plus the um, setup. Setup is a little the, – the menu walkthrough yeah. for the setup was a little – a need a little, a little work. It's a little. Yeah, I was like, okay, you know, for the average person, they, they might get you know rather frustrated mm -hmm. dealing with this. I mean, if I got frustrated, I can imagine what just a, the average consumer would would actually feel. Um, and one feature that I never really played around with here. It's not a feature. It's just a, it's a, it's a, a nuisance, right? When we would turn the TV off, it would take about you know five te five seconds to turn off. But when you would turn the TV on. Wow, it took like 30 seconds for the TV to come on. Yeah, it did have a very long period to come back on. So you don't know if it's I, actually on and everything yeah. is working properly. You're you know, like, am and, I on the wrong feed? Or yeah. yeah, and you know, there's a green LED that would flash and flicker and, 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 and dance and stuff. And I'm not sure if it was telling me, I'm, I'm coming on, just give me a second. Or, right. oh my God, I'm having a problem. You know, it's a review unit too. So I don't know if it's just been beat up a couple of times and, you know, it's on its last leg or whatever the case might be. Um, but that's something I experienced, and it was very frustrating for us because we turned it on, and we didn't know the TV was actually coming on. And when the TV finally came on, it would default to HDMI 1, I believe it was. Right. And there would default to the active HDMI port. I think we plugged in our, our, our set-top box into HDMI 4. Don't ask me why we did that. I, I just saw the first HDMI port, and I just shoved it in there. So that's where it stood for, for the duration of the review. So that was annoying. So we had to scroll down and actually reselect HDMI 4. So that happened every single time. Um, and for some reason, there was an odd flicker. Every once in a while, it, it was it was random. It made no sense. It depended. It didn't depend on, on anything really. We were watching a movie, TV, whatever it was, and it would just get a like this insane flicker. Hmm. And I was like, "Oh, what's that about?" Um, and again, you know, it's uh, it, it's a review a, a, a unit, so take that with a grain of salt. I'm yeah. not sure if it's because again, it's been beat up a little bit. Um, you know, it's been shipped around a lot. It's fallen a few times. And it just could have those problems because of that. Um, I've seen other reviews online, and, and people like CNET, for example, reviewed the TV, and they really liked it. So maybe, <laughs> maybe just me. I don't so know. yeah, CNET, uh, and one thing everybody should know about CNET's reviews, they do a very good review, but they are very interested in black levels. And if black levels are great, they will give it a very positive review, even though there are other aspects of the televisions that may be lacking. Right. But um, one thing that I thought about the, the sound, because this is kind of... It's kind of a thing with I, I've noticed on some Toshibas, but I haven't really seen the the thread go through on other televisions because I haven't been looking for it. Right. But I think similarly uh, thin televisions mm -hmm. may have a sound issue only because okay. there's only so much space for that speaker to to, to drive. Right? There's only right. so 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 right. that might be it. And and the the, the Set top box. Correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, I, I liked it. I think it's pretty thin in general for a 47 it is, inch. It is extremely. Thin. I mean, it's a yeah. beautiful piece of hardware. Do not get me wrong. Right. It's a beautiful piece of hardware. It's extremely thin. I mean, I measured it and it was like less than 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 an inch inch. Uh, and, uh, here we go. All right, there we go. Less than an right. inch. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Better. Less than an inch thick. Um, and an absolutely beautiful, beautiful TV. Absolutely. Now, when I did speak to the Toshiba folks, uh, the product managers from Toshiba, um, I did ask them about the noise. I mean, I'm sorry, the, the actual volume level. Mm -hmm. And they said the only thing that they can think of is just because it was designed for a home uh, um, entertainment system. Right. 
So that the, the speakers on the TV are not your primary speakers. They're just there to do whatever they're doing poorly or, or, or well. Um, but it's really designed to be plugged into a home theater system so you can get the full rich sound, whether it's you know, a 5-1 system or a 7-1 system. Right. So, you and know, that's how I use mine. I use mine okay. because, uh, you know, because it's so thin and it's kind of a weak speaker unless you're going with something like a, like a Mitsubishi, which has this crazy sound bar attached to it, but you're getting more thickness involved. Um, yeah, that I always hook mine up, uh, over optical, right to a, to a, a sound bar or a secondary audio source. And it sounds great. So keep that in mind, folks. If you, I mean, the, the, the TV is wonderful. It really is. And, and Best Buy has it, um, uh, regularly, uh, it, it's twelve ninety nine, but I believe they have it on sale. I have no idea how long the sale is going to last, mm -hmm. uh, so just just check it out. I mean, it's it's a it's a gorgeous TV, and if it's on sale for anything less than a thousand, I mean, I, I would say definitely go pick it up um, at your local Best Buy or even Best Buy online. Mm -hmm. um, so we're giving and, it a solid three remotes, right? I, I'm giving three remotes, man. I'm, I'm giving three remotes because of the beautiful and ridiculous picture. And oh, I'm sorry, three D, three D. You know, I'm not yes. I'm not a big fan of three D. You know, I'm just, I'm really not. We watched uh, two 3D movies that, that Toshiba, uh, thank you so much, guys, that gave gave me um, two movies to take a look at. Um, the 3D was great. It was, it really was great. You know, my, my son was sitting there watching, uh, you know, fish, you know, swim and, and octopuses do what they do. Um, but, you know, I, I'm not going to spend the extra money to go for a 3D TV. I, I personally right. don't think it's it's really worth it. I think right now it's more of a marketing tool than anything mm -hmm. else. I'd rather buy a nice big screen TV, LCD, with that, that's the smart TV, has a lot of inputs. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. I and, mean, then, and the benefit to this one is that it is a passive uh, yeah. a 3D. So right. if you're going to get a 3D experience or have that option, because many of the televisions have a 3D option, right? Um, go for a passive tele uh, th passive 3D because if they do inevitably have Super Bowl or some other type of sporting event in 3D, you're going to want to have your buddies over and you're not going to want to spend 50 bucks or 100 bucks a pair of glasses. You're, no, you're going to want to go and get a box of glasses for three or five uh, bucks a piece. I agree with you 100%. And, and this specific model comes with four four passive uh, four passive um, glasses. So you have to spend that extra money just in case that the, the game one day is in HD and you got a couple mm -hmm. of your buddies over the house. Um, so that's that's kind of cool too. So I appreciate it. Alright guys, thank you so much. Have a great Take it easy. night. Oma, enjoy. Oma gang. How are you? <laughs> ching ching. Ching ching. <laughs> ching ching. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching. Only cool people press subscribe. Right here. Recording? Oh, I don't know. I, mean, I guess we just figured we'll talk about it. Are we? Are seriously? Are we half in the bag before we've even had a drink? Seriously, this is ridiculous. I, I was like, because you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't into video mode. You were just like, okay, now let's talk about what we're doing. I was like, oh. So, how do you like this beer?